the security situation in Benin, the Edo State capital, has taken a turn for the worse following a jump in cases of kidnapping, armed robbery and cult-related killings. The upsurge in the crimes was first noticed since the hashtag NSAS protests that led to the release of no fewer than 1,900 from two correctional centers, burning of at least eight police stations and the looting of their armories by hoodlums. Nightlife in the capital city, in the meantime, has since ground to a halt as incidences of kidnappings and armed robbery have escalated. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that while residents of the capital city were still reeling from the high crime rates, court-related killings mostly linked to clashes between rival Vikings and Aye confraternities have only heightened the fears of the residents in different parts of Benin. The tally from the court-related killings indicated that no fewer than 30 people were killed within the past week, with three others similarly killed on Sunday, November 15, by suspected cultists. Two of the bodies were discovered at Urora Junction, one by Pipeline Junction in Eyan, and on Saturday, November 14, two bodies were found around Uselu, while Evidence Street by Isiho accounted for three others. Before then, several people lost their lives in different parts of the city, including Idogbo, Y Junction, Nomayo, three houses all along Sopongba Road, Ogida Barracks, Siluku Road, Kostain area in New Benin, Aduawa near Oando Filling Station, Upper Mission near Ewa Road Junction, Cherubin and Seraphine area of Upper Mission. Meanwhile, the police are soliciting for information from the public that will help them recover stolen arms and ammunition from the police stations that were looted, trashed, or burnt in the states. When contacted, the State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Babatunde Kokumo, said the attack on police facilities, burning of police stations and patrol vehicles during the NSAS protests that turned violent had affected their operations. He, however, urged that the, assured that the police will gradually resume work at their duty posts to check crime and criminality in the states. According to him, in Upper Sobumba, in Ipoba Oka Axis, three police facilities were burnt down, displacing the DPOs and other police officers in these divisions. These officers now report at the state command headquarters. We now send them on patrol from there, so you should expect some hitches, but we'll continue to work and get things right. The NSAS protests, which were hijacked by hoodlums, has actually impacted negatively on police operations and unleashed attacks on police facilities, he said. How do you expect where 200 inmates escape for things to be normal? Kokomo asked, saying, We are doing our best to arrest the criminals in Edo before the jailbreak, and we are equally trying our best now to see that the escapees are rearrested and brought to book. He urged the media to cooperate with and appreciate the efforts of the police, especially now that they are expected to stem the tide of crime, whereas they lacked operational vehicles, arms, and ammunition. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy, News Express Nigeria Television. Mm -hmm.